So, it's me, little boy, Ike Samson. I have something special for us today. You know, there's something that you need to understand as a choosing. You are not born to, to fight the battle we are living today with multitudes. You, you are not born to believe the fact that you need people around you before you know that you are successful. Because the truth is this, you need to understand that God truly wants you to do or to fight alone. God truly wants you to push alone. God truly wants you to do these thoughts alone. He wants you to focus on what is what is between what in front of you because the truth is this many people will make you believe the fact that without them you can't succeed without them you can't make it there are a lot of people in you will meet in your lifetime that many a majority of them will make you believe that they are the sources of your doing and without them you will not be able to accomplish your purpose. You will not be able to amount for something. That is why I'm here to tell you that God truly wants you to fight alone. Because He don't want you to grow to that point where people will be telling you or where people will be will be like they are the reason why you are, they are the reason why you are whom you are today. They are the reason why you are successful. They are the reason why you are making it. They are the they are the reason why you keep excelling. But the real truth is this: God truly wants you to win the battle we are facing alone because he know that he is with you and he will never do it abandon you and sometimes many of us don't understand that even if the world turned against us god will still have reason to keep us even if the earth turned against us god still have purpose reason to keep us so what am i trying to say is this choosing no matter what you are going through no matter what you are passing through, always try to fight alone. Because no one up there truly wants you to grow to that point where you will be capable to fight alone. No one around you truly wants you to believe the fact that you can essay, you can progress, you can succeed even without them. Believe me, they may be telling you some certain sword, some certain word that you need to hear in order for them to impress you. But the real truth is this. They truly don't want you to grow to that point where you will believe in the fact that you can do it alone. They will always try to discourage you. Why? Because they truly want you to do it, to lay you, the foundation on them. Meaning that they truly want you to believe that they are the foundation. You are just ordinary with the layer. Because without the foundation, the house cannot stand. So they want you to believe that they are the sources and they will be the reasons why you are standing. And without them, you won't be able to succeed. Because some people want you to believe that ah, if you leave them, you will not progress. If you leave them, you will not ascend. You will not progress. You, you will not make it. But believe me, they know who you are. They truly know absolutely who you are. You know what I'm saying? So they can't do without you. They can't live the world without you. They can't progress without you. You know what I'm saying? That is why you need to understand that the world we are living, you actually accurately own you. It does not matter who left you. It does not matter who have lived. It does not matter who, who is not happy. It does not matter who who is not caring. It does not matter who is telling you this or that. But the main truth, choosing one is this. God truly loves you. God truly wants you. And He wants you to fight alone. Because He don't want to share His glory with no man. The reason why God really don't want you to, to do or to fight with them, He really don't want you to, to mingle a lot of people, is because He don't want to share His glory. Because He's a jealous God. 
He knows he is capable of providing them for you. So God don't want you to hang around with everyone. He don't want you to have a lot. He don't want you to keep a lot of friends. Because friends does not mean you are successful. Having a lot of friends around you does not mean you are successful. Yes, each of us truly needs someone up there. Each of us truly need somebody before we are said. But all I'm here to tell you is that you need the right people, not what the multitudes. There is difference between the right people and the multitudes. Multitudes may be are those who will be around you in the light in what in the what in the light. But the moment your shadow disappears, you come to understand that many of them will leave. Despite of only two twelve disciples Christ have, there is also a Judas around them, among them. That's why you need to understand. That's what you need to be to understand that they may act like they love you. But the real reality is this, they don't. They may act that like they do this, that, but they don't want you to believe that without them. There are some people who truly really don't want you to believe in their entire, in your entire, they will try by all means to convince you. They will try by all means to make you believe that without them, it will be something what impossible for you to do or to break record. But believe me, majority of people up there are shocked because of what they are seeing. Remember blessed.